everyone, welcome to prompt number 38. And with that, let's get into it. We have bank robber and policeman. Oh gosh, I'm so tempted to do an ant illustration, but I must resist. Let's do it. Oh gosh, I really struggled with this one because I just, again, it was another prompt where I just wasn't feeling inspired and it, it was just so bland. But in the end, I'm actually kind of happy with the results, which is always good. So with my sketches, I started off with some kids playing similar to last time. I figured robber and cop was kind of a really common theme for kids to be playing with and I wanted to really stretch my muscles and try those really action-packed poses. So kids running around is pretty action-y, I think. But I just, I wasn't feeling it, so I moved on to a cop tracing a robber's steps and who is that robber well it's the robber ant because i can't resist oh gosh i i really struggled with not doing the robber ant i wanted to do it so bad i wanted to do it so bad you guys but i couldn't do it because these ants have got to stop i don't want the ants to completely stop but i don't want to incorporate the ants in my prompts because i want to kind of use my creativity to my best ability and come up with different characters the ant drawings i'm still doing on my own time but i really want to keep them out of these prompts as much as i want to do them i shan't okay so i've been ranting about my ants for too long let's talk about what i'm actually drawing so in the end, I kind of settled with a regular situation with a cop walking in on a bank robber who has kind of gotten into the bank safe. But I wanted to play around with the framing of the image, as I usually do. As I've mentioned 100 times before, full background images are cool, they're fine. But I really have a lot of fun playing around with the frame shape of an image playing around with the white space of the illustration and kind of using that to my advantage. So in this particular piece, I made the safe entrance the only window to a background and I made everything else just white space, which I think is just more interesting looking, I suppose. There's an element of, I guess, fill in the blank yourself, but also just an element of just focusing on what's happening. And I just find it really interesting that this policeman is kind of stepping out of this area where there's actually things happening into this blank white area. Now, of course, you can't see that right now because I did the background last for some reason. But in the end, I think once I add the background to this image, it really brings everything together. It's very similar to my coffee illustration where once I put that ring, the whole illustration just changed completely and I really get that feeling when I add the background to this one. Okay, now that I'm done talking about something that you can't even see yet, let's talk about my color choices. Obviously, a police outfit is, I guess, usually blue, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of play around with cold versus hot characters. Because the policeman is blue, he is a cold character, so I thought this would be a really, really good chance to make the robber a hot character. So I guess cool could mean that he is the good guy and hot or fierce, you know, red hot redhead. <laughs> She's the bad guy. I wanted to give her the classic black look with the stripes for a robber, but because I wanted to make her a hot character with her colors, I made that a very dark red. So her orange hair coupled with the red of her outfit and the orange yellow of the gold pieces in the flashlight, her whole scene over there is just very, very warm in comparison to the old cop man, which I have to say, he's pretty adorable. So I think technically I made him a security guard because this is kind of the bank after hours. When I made the background, I thought I would focus on it just being a black and white background so that the focus are on the characters. So the background is black and white and in my head I thought, okay, this is after hours. He's just kind of patrolling the, the bank once it's closed. But you know what? He can be a policeman even though he's there after hours. Security guard doesn't have to be a security guard, right? He's just an old retired policeman doing his security guard duties after hours shaking his little baton thingy at the security camera like her <laughs> you see me carl i'm in the safe i'm gonna steal gold ha 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 and then he turns around and does does the robber girl shoot him with her finger 
I didn't give her a gun because I, for whatever reason, I wanted to stay pretty peaceful. I'm not really sure why, but I thought it would be cute to give her a finger gun. So I don't know, maybe she has magical powers or maybe she's just pretending she has a gun so the old man gets spooked. Aw, now I kind of feel bad. Poor old man. I hope he makes it back to Carl. I bet they were having a fun night after hours at the bank. Maybe they were playing cards, goofing off, watching TV. Oh no, I didn't even talk about the background. Well, as you see, it really brought the illustration together, right? Okay, good, great. Um, uh, have you ever witnessed a robbery happening? I haven't, my life's pretty boring. All right guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey Will, er, I mean bye.